Hi, you guys. Spend another day with me. As you can see, I'm dressed to the nines for this day. Crazy enough, this is the bottom of the bed up by our head, so I'm not really sure how we sleep, but it's not correctly. What a cute little outfit. Deca shirt, blue shorts, my slippers. Woo! And Chad is working on breakfast. Something that I haven't mentioned this morning that I am very happy and excited to mention is thank you all to who have subscribed to me recently. I started last week with my subscriber count being in the, was it 40s or 50s? 54 was my subscriber count last week. And as of today, we're at 127. That's the largest growth I've ever seen. And I'm just so happy, so blessed. But this also means I hit another New Year's resolution for me. My number one goal of the year, hit 100 subscribers on YouTube. Boop. Thank you guys so much. I love each and every one of you. Here's breakfast, two slices of toast with banana. Thank you, Chad. Taste that. Mmm. Delicious. I don't really know why, but I've just wanted peanut butter banana toast every single morning for like two weeks now. It's just so yummy, it might be my summer staple. I'm gonna be showing you how to make the, in my opinion, the perfect sandwich for lunch. So you're gonna start with sabata roll and you're gonna toast it. Yup, it's toasted, trust me. Then we're gonna open it up so we just have the bottom. Set that on a plate. First up, we're gonna load on our turkey, my turkey that I buy is, I don't even know, it's like all natural, no preservatives, probably like the best kind of lunch meat turkey you can find for you. That's the only way I could convince Chad to buy it. But that's what my turkey is, it's pretty good though. So you're welcome to either follow along exactly with my turkey or use your own, but turkey is the first layer. After the turkey, we put a slice of mozzarella cheese. Then, after the slice of mozzarella cheese, tomato slice. Next, I use a quarter of an avocado, scoop it out, and put it on the top portion of your other half of the sabata. And then you're gonna spread this out. I'm just gonna cut it up so it's easier to spread. Let's spread it out. Be aggressive, get in there. Make sure it gets in all the nooks and crannies. So you have a little bit of avocado in every bite. So it looks like this. Now here comes a crazy fun part that I don't have out yet. Arugula. This is where it can get messy. So stay with me here. You're gonna take the container that you want your sandwich in, right? And we're gonna transfer our masterpiece into our container. Then we're gonna take our Organic baby arugula should be ready to go, wash it, ready to wash and eat. So we're just gonna take a nice, cute little pile of arugula, set it on the sandwich. Ta-da! Big heaping pile of arugula. Then balsamic, even though this is like not the right balsamic vinegar that I wanted, it's so really good, so it works. Mix that up. Give yourself a nice helping of balsamic. Perfect, and then you take the top of your sandwich, look at the bottom to make sure it's lined up, set that on your sandwich. The lid of your container should hold everything together. And there you go, that's how I make my sandwich for lunch. I am on my way to my place of employment for a boring day, but you're coming with me, so it'll be more interesting. I don't know if that rhymed done with my first job now sorry it's windy but i'm on my way to my second super exciting but 
I have like a half hour before it starts. So I think I'm gonna find a table outside. Why am I out of breath all the time? I'm gonna find a table and just sit outside and get my daily dose of sun. I wanna be tanner and I want my hair to be blonder. I'm working super hard. It's lunchtime in this motherfucking place. So let's see what I have. As you guys know, you already know one thing because you watched me prepare this morning. And that's my sandwich. But along with this sandwich, I have an orange and a cheese stick. So it's gonna be delicious. Here's the order I'm gonna eat my food. I don't know if anyone else is particular like me about this but the orange will be first. It's like my appetizer. And then my meal is the sandwich. And then for dessert is the cheese stick. But I want to give you a review of how the sandwich tastes. So I will take a bite right now. Ooh, it's wet, moist. Ooh, really moist. Delicious, fully recommend. I'm leaving work and thank God because I'm over this shit and I'm now done for the week, which is super exciting. I also just made the decision that I'm going to go on my 45 minute walk right now because I'm still in the process of doing 75 soft. So I need to get my workout in and Chad really wants to watch the first Harry Potter movie tonight because he's never seen the movie and he just read the book number one and he finished it for like the first time this week so of course we have to watch the movie and that will be happening tonight so I have to get my work out in before that so going for my walk now hopefully it doesn't pour on me like it did last time we did this look at this little guy he's adorable hi baby oh you gone Hey guys. So I'm back from my walk and I actually started sweating really bad on it because it's so fucking humid outside. So I came back and I took a shower and I'm all clean now. My next issue, if you want to call it that, is I am hungry. I want to eat dinner, but Chad's not here yet. And he's also in charge of cooking the chicken for tonight, which I will let him do. So I'm just gonna chill until I am fed. Should I do um a stuffed animal review since we're here? Meet all my stuffed animals. Okay, we'll start up top. This is Odalie. Odalie is a Squishmallow. Odalie was a present. I'm not really a Squishmallow gal, so I don't buy them. This is a cat that um, is supposed to be like a massager but it just like vibrates. So it's like my purring cat. Um, this cat's name is Kitty. We have my OG, my day one, my slime, if you will, I don't know. This is Bunny. It's, she looks like she's been through it because she has been through it. I've had this stuffed rabbit since I think I was like four, three years old. And she's been with me every night since. Honestly, I think she's holding it together really well considering her age. Next we have a Weighted moose. This is Moosey. As you can see, I'm really, really creative with my stuffed animal names. Moosey has like beans in it, so he can go in the microwave and warmed up and be warmed up and use as like a period pad. Hey guys, sorry for interjecting here really quick. I just want to say Moosey cannot be used as a period pad. I don't know why I said that. What I meant to say was a heating pad but I just want to really make sure you guys know that this stuffed animal has never been used as a period pad. Okay, thank you. Back to it. I have not done that yet because it feels like a crime to put him in the microwave, but 
It's always an option. This is technically Chad's. Um, I got this for him for Valentine's Day, I believe. I believe it's in one of my vlogs, but this is Jelly. Jelly the jellyfish. This one's Chad's. He's nice and small. Then we have Sheepy. Got some weighted beans in its toes, but yeah, this is really cute. Um, Sheepy is from my dad's first girlfriend's after the divorce house. I hated it there with all my heart and did not like his girlfriend at all, but I did like this stuffed animal from her house. So probably when I was like, I don't know how old I was, like six, maybe seven, whenever we like moved out, I stole this. So that's how I got Sheepy. Then we have another bunny. This is Mr. Woo Woo. Yeah, we got a little bit more creative with the names here. I don't know why I named this rabbit Mr. Woo Woo, but this is Mr. Woo Woo. Then we have another stuffed animal that's technically Chad's. This is Nose Nose. I got Nose Nose for Chad, I believe last year, Valentine's Day. So 2023 Valentine's Day, I believe I got this for Chad. As you can see, I love stuffed animals and I want other people to have stuffed animals too, so. This is nose nose because it's a rhinoceros with two horns. Chad thought they were noses. Then we have Rowan, which is a reminder of the Roatan Islands of Honduras, which was me and Chad's favorite stop on the cruise we went on. You should totally watch my cruise series if you have not yet, it's a blast. And that's where we got little Rowan, the little baby, the little child of the fam. And then up last, we have this big boy. This is Michael Steggy, Michael Stegosaurus. We got Michael Steggy in a Target, Chad and I, when we were walking around one in Minnesota, and he wasn't in like the proper display. He was like in the foods, and he just looked so lonely. So Chad and I adopted Michael Steggy. We bought him and brought him home with us. And yeah, that's all the stuffed animals that live on my bed. I know you were curious. It's dinner time and you know, Chad and I are turning into be such cute little chefs. So we've got pretty good food. I've got a salad here. It is basically a deconstructed what I had for lunch, except instead of turkey, it's chicken. And Chad has the sandwich version of it, which he's already been munching on. But what do you think? Good, good. delicious. Well guys, believe it or not, this is good night. Sorry for the sudden ending, but we finished watching Harry Potter, which I thought was nice and nostalgic. Chad didn't really like the movie, but that's whatever, he likes the books. We got ready for bed and I'm going to bed. So thanks for watching. I love you all. Please, if you liked this video, go hit the like button and subscribe and watch more videos. I love you guys, bye.